Hey, good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's Brad Knowles here, aka Permanent Fish Finder. Uh, today what we've got is a, a few new salmon rods and fly reels that we're going to do the complete setup with you quickly here. Um, I've got a Reddington Crux 8 weight. That's a great rod made by Reddington. Uh, we also use the Predator as well for our salmon tours, but that's just the butt section. You're going to need uh, to set up your rod and reel. You're going to need the first section and the second section just so you've got some, some guides to put line through to help feed and uh, hold on to your rod. So we're going to pair that up today with the Reddington Behemoth. We've got some new colors here too. Um, we're going to be running the bronze and today I've got the new OD Green. Isn't that a sexy reel man? So that's a 7.8. That's what the back looks like. Deep reel and it's got, I think it was roughly 40 pounds of drag. So there, you can put the brakes on big salmon. So we'll get that on the fly rod quickly. Fun, fun for everyone. I'm gonna lock that down. So the uh, setting up your fly rod isn't that painful, but you can see here what I've got is, we're gonna take the spool off. I'm gonna show you a quick knot that we're gonna use. But first, you're going to use your, if you're going to be doing salmon, I always recommend that people use at least 30 pound backing. Um, just in case you hook into something real big, it's going to give you a fighting chance to get it back. Um, in a lot of the streams that we fish, there's current, so you're not just fighting the fish, you're fighting the current as well. So that extra 10 or 15 pounds in backing will come in pretty handy. So I'm going to show you a quick knot here. So you've got your spool, it's off the rod off the reel all you're gonna do is a double overhand knot which you go back through itself doubled over like so tighten that down you're gonna cut the tag end off like so you're gonna leave a little bit there and then what you're gonna do is with that double overhead hand knot you're gonna push a loop back through itself and that's gonna create a sliding knot and that goes over the spool. That goes down nice and tight. And then what you're gonna do is throw a half hitch. You can see what I've done. You just cross over on itself. Can you see that good? Yeah. And that is followed right in on top of that and you're gonna give that a nice pull. And you can see that locks it right down. There's no, no spinning on the spool. That's key. You wanna start out with a good solid knot that doesn't slip on the spool because if you do it wrong, that spool will turn the line will spin on the spool and you won't gain on a fish and it won't work off the drag either, which is key, especially when you start getting into these giant coho and Chinook salmon that we get here in the Pacific Northwest. And the chum, chum is another one that'll pull this line off. So once you've got that, this guy goes back onto the, the reel, you anchor it back down in there. And I'm gonna get the cameraman with his one hand to hold the spool. It's best to have someone kind of help, help you a little bit just to put a little tension on it and keep it from getting line spit as well. So while I'm spooling this on, we're gonna cut it back and I'll show you how much line we put on this. Once again, this is the Behemoth 7-8 weight and we're pairing it up with the Reddington Crux. We also pair them up with the Reddington Predator, which is really good fly reels for the Pacific Northwest on all species. Uh, you can either run an eight weight or a nine weight, but you can see what I'm doing here. While, while I'm spooling this onto the reel, I'm using my fingers to evenly spool it onto the, onto the spool. Can you see that good? Yeah, you can see. So while I'm spooling, I'm going across and helping it feed evenly across the spool. That is pretty important. You don't want it just spooling up on one side. You want it to spool up evenly throughout. So we're going to do this quickly and we'll get right back to you, okay? All right, that didn't take too long. You can see how we've evenly spooled on. And if you look at the side profile, you filled roughly half of the spool. Um, that gets into the deep taper of the spool and it also gives you a larger arbor to retrieve fish. And if you do catch a big fish, this gives you a little extra running time. So. If, uh, if you've got to put the, the brakes on them, you're going you're gonna to be able to 
fight him for a little bit longer before he takes everything. So you never want to see the last few wraps of your spool because <laughs> these fly lines are not cheap. Um, what I'm going to do is now attach um, the new sonar uh, by SA, Scientific Angler, the Sonar Titan. This is an eight weight, a uh, weight forward, eight weight uh, sinking tip in a sink rate of a type six. Uh, we find that these lines put you right in the, the perfect spot on most of the rivers in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'm not sure exactly, I think it's a six to seven inches per second. Um, these perform really well in cold water as well, which we found. And um, we've been running these lines for, I don't know, about 10 or 12 years now. And you don't really have to do too much maintenance to them. Occasionally we'll pull the grid off of them, give them a quick clean, and then fire them back onto the spool. But you can see here, it comes out similar with welded loops, which is really nice. Um, what we've found in the past is that if you use a perfection loop, from your backing to the fly line, you compromise the strength of your backing. So all we usually use is an improved clinch knot to the loop itself, and you'll find that you'll get a lot better knot strength and the, the backing won't be compromised nearly as much. So you just go simply through it, and all we're gonna do is go around this three times, back through itself, and then back through the loop here. And that's called an improved clinch. And then this guy just simply pulls down nice and tight onto there, and you're left with a little tag in. You can clean that up. But this knot, the strength is much superior from the perfection loop. And I usually leave just a little button there. It's soft, you don't even feel it going through. And then once again, I'm gonna get the cameraman to give me a hand here to anchor anchor your uh, spool and we're gonna get back to throwing that on the spool nice and evenly so like you said see again I'm using my fingers to guide the line evenly across the spool and also apply tension you do not want to put that on your spool loosely so I'm using my fingers to apply it evenly <laughs> evenly and apply a bit of tension so once we get this done, we'll get right back to you. We've got a couple more products that we want to show you that are going to prolong the life of your fly lines. Okay? So right back at you. There we go. Okay, so we've got that line nicely spooled on there evenly under pressure. Um, when it's on there, you don't want to have it fill right up the top of your spool. That way it does allow you, when you're fighting big fish, the last thing you're going to be worrying about is evenly spooling it. This way, if you do find it spools a little bit to one side, it gives you a little bit of relief that you don't get pinched between the real frame and the spool. That will happen. So give yourself a bit of space, okay? Don't overload your spool is what I'm trying to say. So, now with these Sonar Titan by SA, they come with a welded loop. Um, when you're chucking big heavy flies and you're catching lots of fish and you're bashing these, these guys are gonna be down in that bottom 10 inches of water column. 90% of your fish, or I'm gonna say even higher, I'm gonna say 95% of your Pacific salmon are gonna be caught within the bottom 10 inches of the water column. So we usually run 15 to 20 pound tippets or liters, but now, Scientific anglers come out with these new loop guards, which are absolutely amazing. Um, after running these for approximately, I'd say, three or four months, you'll see that the welded loops start to deteriorate quite quickly, especially if you're pulling on them with heavy, heavy salmon, uh, being chum salmon, coho salmon, chinook salmon, even pinks will, will wear on these loops. The ingenious guys at SA have now come up with these new loop guards. And they work similar to the guard or the loop itself, but it's something that you can replace. And it also eliminates the hinging, which is pretty awesome. So it just slips through, pull it through nice and even. And what it does is it gives you another welded loop to prolong the life of the welded loop that's on your fly line. 
I'll tell you, man, this is a game changer. I'm just going to, we're going to pause it. I'm going to tie another leader onto this and we'll show you how nice it comes off. There's no hinging. It's beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're not going to be running much more than, I'm going to say between four to six feet on your leader. And I figured, hey, I might as well show you guys how to tie your leader on, onto your fly line with the use of a perfection loop. So it's probably going to be really difficult to see. You know what? Let's tie it with the backing. I'll tie one with the backing quick and then we'll do it. We'll do it real time, here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's pretend that this is your leader. We're going to do the perfection loop. So you start out with a loop. You go in front, behind, back in front. And the very first loop that you make, can you see that one? Mm -hmm. The very first loop goes back up through the loop that you had on the top. And that is the perfection loop. So once that's all cleaned up, how that guy works, cut the tag end off and then that would go over top of your loop and through this back through itself and you see what happens here you get two perfect loops on top of each other and they pull nice and tight no hinging isn't that awesome so slick anyhow we're going to do this with floral carbon now and we'll show you what it looks like all said and done Okay, pause. All right. All right, so we're going to do it real time. This is how quick a fishing guy can do them. Quick and easy, back through. Okay, back in business, just like that. And then take your little clippers, back over top of everything, over top of the loop. This one goes, grab the loose end, goes through the loop itself. We're back into business, ladies and gentlemen. That there is a complete setup, ready to catch any salmon in the Pacific Northwest. And if you guys are looking to get out and do some quality fly fishing with us, go to our website, spudval or our permanentfishfinder.com. Uh, we've got lots of information on there. You can also go to our reports page. It'll show you what we're catching. And if you want up to time or up to date on time, fish porn, Go on over to our Instagram page or our Facebook page and you'll see what's happening. We're catching lots of beautiful fish right now and we look forward to fishing with you. Anyhow, I'm Brad Knowles, Permanent Fish Finder, signing out with that.